the Bible says there are many devices in a man's heart. Nevertheless, the counsel of the Lord, that shall stand. Your mind, your heart, your thought life will conceive many things today. And most of them, if not all of them, will be contrary to God. They will be wrong. They will be lies. The Bible says every imagination of the thoughts of man's heart is only evil continually. The Bible says the heart is deceitful above all things and desperately wicked who can know it. The Bible says he that trusteth in his own heart is a fool. Those devices, those things you can see, perhaps they are plans. Perhaps they are fears. Perhaps they are doubts. Perhaps they are just ideas about all the things of life that you just think because you think them. And you lean on them. And you pursue them. And you really think they're real. The Bible says, nevertheless, even though you might conceive those things, even though you might feel those things, even though you might hold to those things that you think are so true, God's word is what's going to stand. God's counsel is what's going to endure. God's advice to you from his word is what you and I need to learn to lean on. Perhaps you've got some plan in your mind that is contrary to the word of God. That plan will come to naught if it's contrary to the counsel of the Lord. Perhaps you're caught in the grip of some doubt, some dismay, some spirit of fear, some whatever, some carefulness, some uh, fear. If it's contrary to what God has told you, those feelings are not to be trusted. Perhaps you've just got an idea or conceit about something. If it's against what God has told you about that something, you need to let it go. Let today be a day where you lean on the rock of God's word and not the shifting sands of the devices of your troubled and wicked heart. That can be the rock, the facts of God's word, not the fickle and fleeting emotions of your deceitful heart.